students today we are going to discuss about step current response of parallel rl and parallel rc circuit in the previous videos we have discussed about step current response of series rl and series rc circuit here we are using parallel rl and parallel rc circuit usually in the case of parallel circuit we 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 are used to find the current uh, through the circuit so first of all let us discuss about step current response of a parallel rl circuit so let us see the circuit diagram there is an rl circuit shown here and we are using a current source constant current source or step current source of having magnitude i here what is, what is the meaning of step current that means its magnitude is i uh, and it is constant throughout so this is the current source and here is a switch and what is the meaning of the switch is uh, that before time t equal to 0 the switch is closed that means all the current flows through this circuit see whenever switch is closed means that there is a short circuit path across this parallel combination that means the current will go through this short circuit path and there will not be any current through this parallel circuit path rl but whenever at time t equal to 0, 0 plus or t equal to 0, the switch is opened. That means there is no current flow through this open circuit path. All the current flows through this parallel combination. So after the time t equal to 0, that means at t equal to 0 plus, the current will flow through the resistor R and L. Let I, R and I, L be the current flowing through the resistor and inductor respectively. And here you can see these are parallel paths that means the voltage drop across resistor R will be equal to voltage drop across inductor that is the principle in the case of parallel paths so the voltage drop across these points will be equal so we can write what is the voltage drop across R voltage drop across R is equal to current into resistance so here the current is IR IR into R that is here so what is the voltage drop across inductor inductor voltage drop is equal to l into di by dt here the current is il so the voltage drop across inductor is l into di l by dt so we can equate this because these are parallel paths similarly we can apply kcl rule in the case of parallel circuit so incoming current will be equal to outgoing current here incoming current is i and outgoing current is ir and il so i will be equal to ir plus il so this is the basic equations and here we want to find out the value of the step current find out the value of the current through this path either we can find out the current i of t or we can find out the current ir or il so first of all we are multiplying this equation with r so we will get ir equal to r into ir plus r into il so what is r into ir r into ir is l into di by dt so instead of r into ir we can substitute this quantity so we will get r into i equal to l into di by el by dt plus r into il so here you can write before that you have to take the laplace transform of this equation so you will get see r into i is here so its laplace transform is i of s and here the laplace transform is l into this is a derivative term and its laplace transform will be I, S, S into I L of S and here the Laplace transform R into I L of S. Here we are assuming that initial conditions are zero. That means the energy stored in the inductor will be equal to zero. Okay. So we can write the equation as R into I of S by S. Since I is a constant value or unit step function, unit step current is applied. So its uh, Laplace transform will give you R into I of S by S plus equal to L into S into I L of S. So that is equal to L into, sorry here, so, okay, here I L of S is taken outside, that step is not shown here. This term will be L into S into I L of S plus this will be R into I L of S. So I L of S will be common, so it is taken outside and it is written here. I L of S into R plus L S. So here we want to find out the current through the inductor or we want to find out the current through the resistor whatever quantity you want first you are finding the current through the inductor I L of S so I L of S will be equal to you can rearrange this equation so you will get I of S into R by S into R plus L S that will be equal to I of S into you can 
uh, you can change this in the form of s plus a form so you will be getting r by l divided by s into r by l plus s this is in the form of s plus a so here we are taking l outside that is why we are getting this because we want to find out the current through the inductor so this is the s domain equation in order to get the time domain equation you have to find out the inverse laplace transform so to f find the inverse laplace transform it is better to change the denominator term in the form of s plus a so you can easily find out the inverse Laplace transform. Here also you can find that this is in the form of R by L by S into S plus um, R by L. And here the uh, denominator is of a second order and numerator has no S terms. So you can um, apply partial fraction method. So I of S into this can be written as A0 by S plus B0 by R by L plus S. So you can find A0. A0 how can you find out A0? A0 will be equal to this into this into s at s is equal to 0 so this term into s will give you r by l into s plus r by l at s is equal to 0 substitute s is equal to 0 so you will get a0 equal to 1 next b0 is obtained by multiplying this by denominator that is s plus r by l and here you have to put s is equal to minus r by l that is the principle of partial fraction that we have familiarized in the second uh, second module Sorry, uh, we have familiarized it within the third module. Uh, okay, uh, so you will get B0 will be equal to minus 1. And so you can write IL of S will be, you can substitute for A0 and B0. So that will be equal to I of S into 1 by S minus 1 by S plus R by L. So you can find out the time domain equation by taking the inverse Laplace transform. So this will uh, give you I of S by S inverse Laplace transform will be I of T. Similarly, uh, here i of s by s plus r by l will uh, give you um, i of t into e raised to since it uh, denominator we have the function s plus r by l it will give you e raised to minus r by l into t so i of t can be taken outside so that will be equal to 1 minus e raised to minus r by l into t so this is the inductor current so this is the response of the parallel rl circuit and it gives the current through the inductor similarly you can find the current through the resistor also for that you are taking the equation i equal to ir plus il so ir will be equal to i minus il so you can write the above equation il of t as i into 1 minus e raised to minus r by l into t similarly ir will be equal to i minus il so you can substitute this one as a result you will get i into e raised to minus r by l into t so this is the way you are finding the response corresponding to a step current applied to a unit step current applied to a parallel RL circuit. Similarly, you have to derive the equation for the response when you are applying a step current to a parallel RC circuit. Here you are utilizing a parallel RC circuit and the rest of the circuit is a current source, a constant current source having magnitude, unit magnitude, a step step current having magnitude i is supplied here and here is a switch also and you know the principle of that switch whenever the switch is closed there is no current flowing through this parallel part whenever it is open at t equal to 0 plus then there will be a current flow through this so whenever a current is flowing through this circuit you can write the kcl equation as i equal to ir plus ic and you know here the voltage drop across resistor will be equal to voltage drop across the capacitor so that is given by the equation r into ir that is the voltage drop across the resistor and the voltage drop across the capacitor is obtained by the equation 1 by c into integral 0 to t into ic into dt so both of the voltage drops are equal because they are connected to parallel so this is the equation and here also we have a first equation and you can multiply the first equation by r so you will get r into i equal to r into ir plus r into ic and so r into ir you have this so you can substitute instead of that so that will be equal to 1 by c into integral 0 to t ic into dt plus r into ic so uh, this is r into i so you can find the response by using the laplace transform method so in the next step you are taking the laplace transformation so r into i of s by s here uh, i is not a constant here it is a step function so it's a um, laplace transform will be r into i of s by s that will be equal to r into ic of s plus 
1 by Cs into IC of S. That is simple uh, Laplace transform method you know in the case of integration its Laplace transform will con contain um, 1 by C into IC of S. That is why we are writing it as 1 by Cs into IC of S. So that will be equal to IC of S into R plus 1 by Cs. So um, in this equation you want to find out the response here the response may be the current through the uh, capacitor or current through the resistor and here first, uh, we are fi first finding out the current through the capacitor IC of S. So IC of S can be written as a simply rearrange the above equation. So you will get I of S into R by S into this will come to the denominator side so that is equal to R plus 1 by C. This is simple rearrangement, simple mathematical procedure and here you can find IC of S can, I of S can be taken outside this will be equal to Mm, 1 divided by S plus 1 by RC and uh, you have to find out the response ICO of T so you are taking inverse Laplace transform of the above equation that is IC of T will be equal to I of T into E raised to minus 1 by RC into T. See this is in the form of 1 by S plus A form so its inverse Laplace transform will be E raised to minus AT. So the, here A is 1 by RC okay that is why we are getting this equation. Now we obtain the response across the capacitor. Similarly, we can find the response across the resistor also. For that, you are utilizing this equation. So IR will be equal to I minus IC. So you can write IR will be equal to I of T minus IC of T. I of T, I, IC of T has the equation this one. So um, I of T can be taken outside. So you will get I of T into 1 minus E raised to minus T by RC. So you will get I into 1 minus E raised to minus 1 by RC into T. So this is the way you are mm, getting the response due to a step current mm, through a parallel RC and a RL circuit. Okay. So mm, remember the procedure to finding the response. If you are using a series RC circuit or series RL circuit, you are utilizing the mm, voltage you, or you will find the voltage across the mm, your response will be the voltage. And here we are using the uh, parallel circuit so the response will be current uh, and this is the method and once again you can go through the problem and prepare notes okay thank you